Hi everyone and welcome to my live creative time today. My name's Mandy Witherby from Mandy's Papercraft Creations and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. It's great to have you here with me today. Thank you for joining me. Now I am a little bit late jumping on today. I am on crazy puppy duty today. So um, my daughter normally looks after our puppy when we are, or when I'm filming, but um, my daughter has gone out today and so I'm on puppy duty today. So um, she's in here with me in the craft room. So if she starts to go crazy or anything like that, or um, yeah, has any needs in particular, I might need to stop abruptly. <laughs> so. Well, I'll try. I'll, I'll let you know. I won't stop abruptly, abruptly, but you'll probably hear because she'll get unsettled. Um, but she's toileted, she's fed, she's got food and water in here and toys and her beds and she's been up for hours. So hopefully she'll just sleep and she'll be quiet. <laughs> she's gone into her bed just now, actually. So that's really good. Hey, Tina Marie. Great to have you here. So yes, yeah, so she is in her bed, snuggled down. So let's hope that she goes to sleep and stays quiet and we can craft. <laughs> so as you're jumping on, say hi. Uh, let me know that you're here. Hey, Debbie, from all the way from New Hampshire. Great to have you with us. All right, so I will just call this up on my iPad so that I can see all of your comments there. Because especially when I tip the camera down to the desktop in a... A short time um, I won't be able to see your comments on my phone because it'll be facing the desk oh I forgot to turn the volume down there we go you don't need to hear me in stereo <laughs> okay great ah oh, Megan's here too hey Megan how you going <clears throat> excuse me I've got a little frog today a little bit croaky I had some juice just before I came on um, live and I think it's you know clogged up my throat a little bit I probably should have just had water <laughs> that's okay so um, Yes, if you're here, feel free to comment, um, give me some likes and loves if you love what you see today. That would be awesome. Now, if you're watching the replay later on, either here on Facebook or on YouTube, feel free to also leave me comments. I do go back and uh, check those and respond um, when I can. Uh, Tina Marie said, a frog and a dog. Very funny. <laughs> I'm a poet and I didn't know it. So there you go. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, leave me a comment and if you're watching this back on my YouTube channel and you haven't yet subscribed um, If you'd like to click on the little subscribe button down on the bottom right hand corner um, That would be fantastic and I appreciate your support. So thank you very much Next to that there's a little bell icon and if you click on the little bell icon Then you get notified every time I put up a new video now if you are on my if you're watching this on Facebook and you've not yet um, liked and followed my business page where I'm filming this, um, feel free to do that if you like what you see and that way you get notified every time I put a new post up or a new video so you can always stay up to date. Also too, I have my um, newsletter. So if you're not already subscribed to my newsletter, um, feel free to subscribe to my newsletter. I try to send them out weekly. Every so often when I get hectic, I miss one, but I try to get them out to everybody weekly and I keep everybody updated with all the latest Stampin' Up! news, um, my classes coming up, any other, um, any other news that I want to share and also to, um, I, put, I do put some links to videos occasionally and I also put some creative inspiration on there as well. So if you're looking to um, subscribe to my newsletter, you can go to my blog, which is mandyspapercraftcreations.blogspot.com and um, at the top right hand side, you'll see um, subscribe to my newsletter button. You can just click on that button and that'll take you through to the subscribe page and um, you can put your details in there so that you can subscribe to my newsletter. So that would be awesome. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me oh there's that frog again I do have water in here as well and I do have my juice but I think I'll steer away from my juice and just stick with my water <laughs> get rid of that frog uh, um, oh Megan said she finished her on stage cards finally that's great that's so awesome so on stage for those of you who may not know is a demonstrator only event that we have each year and it's super fun um, Oh, it's, it's one of the, the great perks of being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. We get exclusive 
um, events, which is awesome. It's so much fun. And we get to see lots of demonstrations, new product, all different sorts of things. So it's really cool. We even get things like brand new catalogs early. So this is the... Um, I gave a little sneak peek a couple of days ago on my business page of this one. This is the mini catalog for January to June 2022. So um, you can see I've already started my wish list. This is my this is how I do my wish list in my catalogs. <laughs> so I'm glad I'm a demonstrator because I get a lovely demonstrator discount on my products. Demonstrator discounts start from 20%. And you can build that up to 25%. I'm lucky I get a 25% discount because I've been a demonstrator for a little while now, a few years. Um, so I get a wonderful discount on all of these products, which is awesome. I'm going to need that discount because look at all these products I've got tagged here that I want to purchase. <laughs> um, the other great thing with being a demonstrator is we get access to new products early. So we'll be able to order some of these products from this catalogue in January. Back in your bed. Back in your bed, she's starting to grizzle because my son just, um, my son's got a day, well actually he started his leave today and he's just come downstairs and she can hear him. She hasn't seen him yet this morning. She gets excited every time she sees each one of us and um, so yeah, she's starting to grump a bit so hopefully she'll go back to bed. Callie, in your bed, in your bed, stay in your bed. She's half in, half out. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, so it's another great perk is um, getting new product and new catalogs early. Um, so it's super exciting. So not only that, but we will be having another celebration as well in January. It'll run from the 4th of January to the end of February. And that is where we can earn um, free product. And that'll be available to um, customers as well. Now, if you're a customer of mine, you'll be able to um, purchase from these in January. However, if you join Stampin' Up! now, you can get your hands on some of these products, including some of the celebration products, from the 1st of December, which is only next week. So we've got one. Uh, what's today? Today's Thursday. Oh, my goodness, it's Thursday. I'm behind on my calendar. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. In six days, we can start getting our hands on some of these awesome brand new products, which is super exciting. Now, the good thing about it at the moment, too, is that we have a joining special. So if you would love to join my team, get your hands on those beautiful products early and get a great discount. So you get that 20% demonstrated discount um, once you joined. But to join at the moment, the starter kit has been reduced to only $130. Now, normally it's $169, so you're already saving um, $39 there. But you only pay $130, but you get to choose $235 worth of product to put in your starter kit. So it's products that you choose yourself. It's not a predetermined starter kit um, like some other companies. So it's really awesome. You get to choose what you like, pop it in your starter kit, only pay $130, for $235 worth of product, get free shipping on that starter kit. Then you get that awesome discount from there on. And you've got until April to decide if you want to stay on or not. And then if you decide that you don't want to, then um, you just can go back to being a customer. No worries. There's no exit penalties or anything like that. You simply just stop ordering as a demonstrator and go back to being a customer. So it's really easy. Now, I would love to uh, have you join my team. It's a great time to join right now while this um, promotion is on. And we've got the new catalog coming up as well. So, of course, you'll need a discount to get all those beautiful products from that beautiful catalog. Did you see? Did you take a look at the front? Did you see these beautiful products here it gives you a little bit of an inkling of some of the products of course i can't show you the inside just yet until this catalog goes live look at this beautiful ribbon too that's so pretty so um oh yeah and there's some tulips there that might give you a little hint to some other products um so yeah really beautiful um, so if you would like more information about that, feel free to get in contact with me. I also do have, if you already know that you want to join and you don't have any questions, you're just like, yep, I want to do it. You are welcome to go straight through to my joining link on my blog. 
you go to my blog at the top of my blog page when you land on my blog there is a um, join button you can click on that join button and that takes you straight through the process but of course I am here too to help you so if you need any help with that process or you have questions before you would like to join feel free to get in contact with me but um, it's a great time to save uh, you're already saving on the price of the starter kit then you get hundred and five dollars worth of product for free in the starter kit starter kit plus you get the free shipping um, Stampin' Up! will throw in some catalogs and things like that in there for you as well which are also free and then you get that beautiful discount and you'll be joining our beautiful stamping community um, and can I just say that in our team we have an awesome time together we have built um, so many beautiful friendships in there and uh, it's just so many beautiful people in my team and um, people that I wouldn't have had the opportunity to meet without Stampin' Up so I'm very thankful and um, I love my team love everyone in my team they're all so beautiful so come and join us come and join the fun all right let me catch up on a few comments here let's see um hey Athena how you going oh you're making some tags there awesome Christmas tags I'm assuming so that's great been working on some of our Christmas projects here as well because um, Christmas is just around the corner everybody we're going to be talking about that today um, so stick with me I've um, got a few ideas for you uh, oh, Tina Marie just reminded us it's only four weeks until Christmas. Thank you very much for that, Tina Marie. <laughs> uh, she needs to get going on her Christmas cards. Yes, definitely. Definitely the time to get started on those. We'll have to start sending them out soon. Um, uh, Megan says she knows she keeps saying it, but the deal is sweet. Yes, Megan's in agreement with me. The joining offer at the moment for um, joining Stampin' Off. Stampin' Up! is amazing and very rarely do they reduce the price of the starter kit in actual fact I've been a demonstrator for five years and it's the first time I've ever seen them actually reduce the price of the starter kit So it's quite amazing um, Megan says she loves the ribbon on the front of the new catalog and Tina Marie says the um, Ribbon looks like the windmill blade. Oh, it does a little bit too does a little bit doesn't it it's got that check I think it's um from memory I think it's in evening evergreen color so it's quite it looks almost navy on the cover of the catalog but it's actually evening evergreen like it's a deep green um, yeah it's really beautiful ribbon so I can't wait to get my hands on that because you all know I love ribbon and bling and um, let me give you a closer up look of the celebration catalog look at some of those products on there so pretty What's this one here is that the oh, some paper all these papers there's some stamp sets available in there these ones are all the ones that you can earn for free during celebration so really beautiful oh yes rainbows so I showed briefly um, what day was it that I showed it might have been on Monday or was it last week I can't remember now um, there was one day that I briefly showed some of those products um, those new products that are coming out because because I attended on stage uh, we were able to order some a little bit early so I've already got some of those products um, so I'll be sharing more of those really really soon hey Julie how are you going now just before I get started on um, today's projects let me just tell you that next week on the first um, there is going to be our last chance um, promotion so there's going to be some reduction on the current mini catalog because the current mini catalog is going to be leaving us so that the new mini catalog can come in um, but there will be some specials on some of these products now during the last chance products um, some get reduced some don't a few will carry over um, but if there are things on your wish list from that catalog then it's up to you if you want to wait for the, the sale next week to see if they are reduced to see if they're still available totally up to you but if you have things on your wish list um, just I would suggest get them as soon as you can so that you're not disappointed if they um, aren't available 
but um, yes, so the Last Chance products will be um, going from the mini catalogue. So you'll have until, from the 1st of December until the 3rd of January, that promotion will go. Sorry, I've just got something in my eye. And this is my sore, my sore eye, so I don't want, <laughs> ah, bad timing. So I've got to be. I've got to look after this eye because this eye's been sore, and uh, I've actually developed a cyst in it, and I have to see an eye specialist about it. Blah blah blah. But yeah, I've got to look after this eye, and I feel like I've got something in my eye. Oh, I hope that goes away. I just do lots of blinking. Sorry, everybody. I do lots of blinking um, to try and clear it. Anyway, yeah. So keep an eye out for that one from the first of um, December. So next week, what day next week is the first? Wednesday. So it's six days away. Yeah, so check that out. So lots happening. Um, good thing too about being part of Stampin' Up! is we get a heads up on all of these things that are coming up. Um, usually there will be flash sales that they'll um, surprise us with from time to time throughout the year. But usually with most promotions, we get notified early so we can be prepared, ready to um, have our shopping list ready, which is fantastic. All right, um, uh, let me just check. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, oh, Megan said her mother asked her to make some bookmarks for her and she's always losing them. Oh, she's always losing them. So that's your next job, making some bookmarks. Oh, beautiful. Bookmarks are always great and they make a great little gift as well. Um, and we've got Christmas coming up, so they make a great little gift or a little stocking filler or even a gift for workmates or um, neighbours, things like that. Yeah. Oh, Tina Marie says she loves the marble paper and the ribbon paper from the um, the celebration that's going to be in January to February. Yeah. We might be able to get that um, from the 1st of December, Tina Marie. We have to wait to see which of the products are going to be available um, to demonstrators on the first or from the first so hopefully hopefully those ones will be on the list which is cool um, the tiniest things feel huge in the eye yes they do <laughs> they do um, oh rainbows not ribbon oh rainbows she loves the rainbows rainbow paper yes yes oh yes I got um, sorry, I read that wrong. Rainbows. Yes, she's looking forward to the rainbows and the marble paper. Yes, they're beautiful. Yeah, hopefully we can get our hands on them on the 1st of December or shortly after. Um, now, let me just tell you too, before I go any further. Um, so Stampin' Up! announced to us this week too, and we're able to share this with our customers, that um, because of the globing, global shipping crisis it's actually deemed a crisis now the um, global shipping crisis it's affecting all um, industries everywhere throughout the world um, not just stamping up but yes there might be some delays on some of those new product or there, there is going to be some delays on some of those new products um, that are coming next year um, in those new catalogs. Um, Stampin' Up! is doing everything that they can to try and get those products to us as quickly as possible, um, even adding extra um, air freighting and things like that. So um, yeah, unfortunately, it's not just the shipping containers um, and the actual deliveries as such, it's actually also to raw material supplies. So some of the products that make the products some of the raw materials that make the products are also um are also in short supply at the moment too and companies around the world are having trouble getting um their hands on raw materials including stampin up so yes there will be some delays um also too just to let you know um from the first of december um, for the time being, there will no longer be back orders with Stampin' Up! So what will happen is, um, what is ever, what is available will be on the, on the, um, website. And so if you go to purchase a product and it's unavailable, it's just going to say unavailable. There won't be back orders because, because of all these, um, the global shipping crisis, um, even when Stampin' Up! is given a date 
from the shipping companies those dates like of when stuff will be available sometimes those dates or often those dates are getting pushed back pushed back pushed back by the shipping companies and by the um transport people and all sorts of things so it's causing a real headache um, and it's frustrating for customers and for demonstrators too when you're expecting products you know you've got them on back order you've been given a date and then that date gets pushed back pushed back pushed back and so um so to alleviate that frustration um stampin up is going to turn off back orders so if you have products that are currently on back order from an order they will still remain on back order and they will be shipped to you as soon as possible but from the first of december um there won't be any back orders whatever is available is what is available it's like when you walk into a store and you're shopping say you walk into target or kmart or somewhere whatever is available on the shelves is what's available so that's basically what it's going to be in the online store. You might still be able to see the product there, but you won't be able to add it to your cart and it'll actually tell you that it's unavailable. Um, okay, so just be aware of those couple of things um, moving forward into the new year, into the new catalog and the new year. Um, that's kind of the situation that is expected. Um, and it's not just Stampin' Up, it's global, as I said, with lots and lots of different industries. Um, yeah, I didn't realize that they're actually calling the all these shipping issues a crisis now, but there was um, a video on 60 Minutes on American um, 60 Minutes the other day, and one of the demonstrators shared that, and it was amazing, and, you, and it just blows your mind looking at how big this issue actually, this um, shipping issue is. Um, globally it just like oh my goodness i didn't even realize that it was you know i just thought it was the transport or you know it's about it's so much more than that <laughs> so <laughs> check it out if you haven't seen it american uh the uh, 60 minutes america um yeah global shipping crisis check out the video it's quite amazing um but yes so i think christmas shopping this year could be a little bit different for everyone as well um right around the world different industries but hopefully we can um, get the things that we need for Christmas. So anyway, so that's just a little bit of backstory. So just be prepared for that. Um, but there will still be lots of products. Stampin' Up! has so many products. There will still be lots available. Okay, so don't be worried. There will be still product that you can get your hands on. All right. Um... Oh, your birthday is the first, Megan. I should write that down because I'm not going to remember. I won't be live that day, actually, but I'll be live the day after. Um, but oh, I hope you have a lovely birthday, Megan, next Wednesday. In case I don't see you on Monday, if um, I'm not sure if I'll be live on Monday yet because our puppy, is a, her surgery has been rescheduled to next Monday, but we've got to wait for blood tests first on sunday to see if she's okay to have the surgery because it got postponed this week because her bloods there were a few little red flags in her bloods this week um so i may not be live next week so um yeah so if i miss your birthday megan i uh, hope you have a lovely birthday um and in fact i probably would miss it anyway because i don't go live on that day <laughs> um so there we go. All right. Um, uh, Tina Marie said uh, that is understandable. It's fair to expect that. Disappointing, yes, but not SU's fault. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we just have to be ready for it. And as as the um, reports were saying, the news reports and things, that it's a global thing. So it's going to affect all industry. So. I'm wondering what the shopping center shelves are going to look like too. They might be a little bit bare also. We'll see. Um, oh, Megan said she's been following the um, the uh, crisis for in the States for months. Uh, and it didn't surprise you. Ah, okay. So you were expecting it. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, your shopping's already done, Megan, ahead of time in August. Oh, good job. Well done. I've started, so that's good. Um, still got a little bit to go, but yeah. All right. Well, let's get started. So you, if you saw, um, well, just last night I put a post up 
um, with a new blog post um, which was relating back to Monday, my Facebook Live on Monday, when I made some Christmas gifts. So we're going to briefly revisit that and I'll show those again to you because we're going to be talking about um, Christmas, um, some Christmas gift ideas today. Um, so what I'll do is I will tip the camera down and I, so I can actually show you down on the desktop and um, we can get started. All right, so I'm going to cover up the camera. There we go. I'll flip those screens and I'll just adjust my stand so I can get everything set up for you. Oh, squeaky today. I'll just tighten that up. All right. And let's get my camera sitting correctly. There we go. Adjust the lights. And I'll just wait for the camera to catch up to see if I got it straight. Oh, look at that. I got it fairly straight today. First go. Amazing. <laughs> All right. So any of the products that I show you today, if you are... Um, Looking for those, you can find my online store two ways. Um, the first way, you can go to my blog, which is mandyspapercraftcreations.blogspot.com. That's a great place to start because I've got lots of creative inspiration on there. I've got my newsletter link. I've got um, links to the uh, PDF versions of the catalogue. All sorts of things there. You can sign up to my newsletter. I've got information about my technique club and my classes. All sorts of things so um, that's usually where I direct everybody if you have trouble remem remembering Mandy's papercraft creations blogspot.com you can also go to Mandy with a .net, and there is different things on there too if you're shopping with me be sure to use my host code um, and any orders over $50 will receive a lovely thank you gift from me to show my appreciation um, of your support all right so Talking about Christmas gifts, all right, so handmade Christmas gifts are always lovely and we are crafters and so making handmade gifts is a great way to go. So I made these on Monday. I have a little set here. Um, so I made a little gift box using the mini paper pumpkin boxes. I made a little jar and I made um, a tag for um, a cookie in some of these beautiful gusseted bags. Now, all of these products are available at the moment through Stampin' Up. Um, the, so there is a video as well. As I said, I posted that uh, a link to a blog post about this uh, late last night. So if you haven't seen that, click on that after this live today. Um, and there is a video showing how you can make these. And also on that blog is listed all of the products that you need to make these. But... Um, handmade handmade goodies are great to give away at Christmas time but if you're not a baker or you don't have time for instance this um, gingerbread cookie this is actually a gluten-free gingerbread cookie because I'm gluten-free I'm gluten intolerant so I can't eat gluten but this is a purchased one this is one I bought from the store um, and I just popped it into the little bag with a cute little tag on it and it's dressed it up to make it into a really lovely little gift to pass on to somebody the little jam jars, these are fantastic. This one's the empty one. I was um, The other one I made um, has already got lollies in it. But you can fill these with all sorts of yummy little treats. You can even use these as table favours on your Christmas table for um, the day. You could even put a, um, a name on there if you want to do like place settings or something like that. Lots of different ideas and um, yeah I just dressed this up with some designer series paper and some ribbon and that was it and so a little bit of bling. Really quick and easy to do. Whoops. And then for the little box these are now all of these containers that I'm showing you are all food safe. Okay so you can safely put food in them. And the inside of these boxes is lined. So if you're putting cookies or something like that in there, the oil from them is not going to seep through the cardboard to the outside and, and make it look messy, um, you know, with the oil seeping through. So these are a great little box. You can put um, yummies in there, little baked yummies, or you can even put small gifts in there, gift cards, jewellery, a small scarf. Um, I'm sure that there's lots of little things, a pack of cards, 
lots of different gift ideas that you can use to put in these boxes they're quite a good little size actually these ones so that's some ideas for christmas and as i said you can go back um check that out on my blog and um or go back and watch the video from my monday live now not only that but some other great christmas ideas are the stampin up kits so the Stampin' Up! kits, there's a range of them to choose from. There's about 10 of them at the moment, plus some paper pumpkin ones that are available at the moment as well. If you're going to my online store, you can click on Kits Collection and it will come up with all of the, um, the kits that are available in the Kits Collection. Um, and the paper pumpkin kits are there on the website as well. Now, there's so many different kits to choose from. There are some card making kits. There are also some project kits, and these are a really great price, um, and they're, they make a great gift. So you can just wrap them up. Everything they need to create the projects are in the kit, and it basically like it looks like a really great expensive gift, but in fact, they're not. So there are kits that are for stamping. They come with all the ink, the block, um, the all the items to make the products. This is just one of them. This is the Sentimental Rose Kit. Um, everything you need is in the kit. And I think oh, on the back page, there we go. On the back page, it shows you everything that is in the kit. It gives you all the instructions in this instruction sheet as well. So you get card bases, you get envelopes, you get all the embellishing stuff, you get ink, you get adhesive, um, you get the block as well. Everything you need, the stamp set, everything you need is in the kit. Um, and then you've got full instructions in picture form. Whoops, let me just open that up. So you've got all the instructions there. You've even got a little ruler, so they don't even need a ruler. The only thing... Um, they'll need is a pair of scissors just to cut any ribbon or twine and most people will have scissors in the house or a knife even if they need to use that to cut um, the ribbon but I made a couple of the projects um, from this one and this one actually comes with a, a cute little gift box now this kit is only $33 and you get everything to make oh I've only made that card and that card so far and the box aren't they beautiful though so so pretty and all of the products to make these are in the kit and these ones come with the beautiful little box even if you want to purchase this kit and you make the kit up yourself pop the cards in this beautiful little box and then wrap the box up wrap up that little box and give that to somebody as a gift with the cards already made so that's another option that you can do as well. But see how everything is in here? Everything's in there. You've got the adhesive. You've got the, uh, sorry, the um, stamp set, the embellishing, the adhesive. You've got block in there and there's an ink spot and all the, um, card, the cardstock labels, everything. So they're such a great gift for Christmas. So I'm just trying to give everybody some ideas for Christmas. These are still available. Um, so you can jump onto the online store and order these um, directly. So that's one of them. We also have some non-stamping kits as well. The non-stamping kits, kits are only $21. So they can still make beautiful projects, but they don't have to do stamping. Now, we do have some kits as well that are for Christmas. So if you haven't seen these yet, um, there's ones that you can use to make um, beautiful Christmas tags and these are like an oversized tags there's special um, treat bags as well these are beautiful treat bags I'm going to make up some of those for um, Christmas gifts with some yummy goodies these are the tags that um, you can make from this kit and you can also turn these tags into cards so you can use them on the front of a card oh my strings are stuck on the adhesive Again, we've got the, the block, the stamps, the ink, the adhesive, all the bits and pieces to put together the gorgeous tags, including all the bling. And these are big tags. Like, look at that on the size of my hand. These are awesome. So you can write a little message on the back, attach them to a goodie bag, like I've done with this one. You could use the matching goodie bags. The, uh, these are the love love santa treat bags these ones i used are the printed gusseted bags so they're a bit different um, but similar 
The Love Santa treat bags are a little bit bigger. So if you want to fit more in, um, they're a bigger one. And put a lovely tag on with a bit of ribbon. All these ones actually come with the twine already on them. And there you go. You've got a really quick and easy Christmas gift for somebody. So there's another idea for you. And as I said, you can turn those tags into cards if you want to as well. And create some cards. You might like to do a, create a, a matching card with um, a goodie bag with a tag on it too. So that's another idea. Um, now this one, what was this one we had? Oh, this one's another Christmas card one we have. Or well, this one is a Christmas card one we have. Again, we've got our block and our ink spot in there. Um, this one I did, I did do on a Facebook Live oh, several weeks ago actually. And I did it on the day that I had a blackout. So the quality of the video wasn't the best because um, I had no lights. Um, I had to do it by the room light which wasn't the best on the day because it was raining too so it was a bit overcast but these cards are so cute so you could um, grab this kit for yourself to make your Christmas cards as well if you would like to um, this one's really cute with these cute little elves and I've got some of the cards made up here um, I've made up four of them so far I've got to get the rest of them made so I can get these sent out but how cute are these cards Super, super cute, and you get everything in the pack to create them. Again, this one is $33. Um, and also, too, don't forget the stamp sets that you get and the ink and the block, you've then got them to use on other projects as well. So they're not just a one-off. Um, you don't just use them just for this kit. You can use them to make other projects as well. So you can keep the Christmas stamps for... Um, next year or the stars actually you've got stars there they can be used for anything um, yeah you'll probably have some extra labels because they do put a few extra labels and things in the kit as well and I keep keep all of my bits and pieces that are left over from my kits to repurpose them so that's another one then I thought today um, well, I'll show you these ones first and then I'll show you what we're going to work on today. So this one is, this one's one of the project kits. So this is a little smile card kit and I love this one because not only do I love the scenes on there, um, but, and again on the back it shows you everything that you get in the kit. But the reason I love this one so much is because I do love the ocean, but this one is um, creates small cards and they're like small little gift cards and I like that they come with this cute little pouch that you can carry them in and so what I do is I've got the little cards all made up in here I carry this little pouch in my handbag and then if I go somewhere and I want to give someone a thank you say I'm at the doctor's surgery I want to give the doctor or the receptionist a, a little thank you or the physio I've got these with me I can just quickly whip out one of these cute little cards aren't they adorable write a little thank you note and then give that to um, the person or perhaps the server at um, the supermarket or something like that or even if you see someone who's having a hard day when you're out and about and you just want to give them a little something to cheer up their day you could quickly give whip one of these out and just give them a little card but how cute are they so adorable and I love that you've got the little pouch to carry them around in or to store them in so there's all different cards in here now these little cards too if you wanted to but you don't have to but you can turn these cards into bigger cards and I'll show you a sample of one that I did in a moment. So if you wanted to make them into a bigger card, you just add a few layers to them. Um, I think I've only done, oh, hang on, have I done, is that the same one? Oh no, that's a different one. Or is that the same one? No, I think that's a different one. But aren't they cute? And you've got little vellum, um, uh, what do you call it, coral? And little sparkly sand dollars on there. They're just so cute. So anyway, you get the gist of those. So I'll pop these ones back in their little packet, in their little carry case. We'll just do that up with the twine there. There we go. So now I can pop that into my handbag. 
and um, take that with me. So you've got the beautiful stamp set. So you can use this to make larger stamps as well. And um, there's all different greetings on there also. Again, you've got your block and you've got your ink. So those three things you can use for other projects. You've got your twine, you've got your embellishment, all of your pieces to put together those little cards. Now this is um, one that I turned into a larger card. So as you can see, this, is the, this panel here is the actual little gift card. I just added a few layers. I popped it up onto dimensionals. And then at the bottom here, I used some of the stamps that come in the stamp set. And I just added those extra little bits at the bottom. I did some stamping and I stamped some of the starfish onto vellum and then I embossed them to add them on there. Used some of the twine from the kit. And hey presto, you've got a beautiful card. And the pearls came from the kit as well. So there you can turn it into a larger card if you want to just by adding a few layers and you can add extra stamping if you want to from the stamp set. So there you go. So there's just a few ideas. This would make a great um, gift for somebody as well for Christmas. Again, this kit is only $33, which is a great price um, for a gift for somebody. So that's the um, A Little Smile card kit. And I believe that that one is currently available as well. Oh, I'll just put my sticky note back in there. Then we've got another kit here. I don't have all of the kits either, by the way. So just um, letting you know that, that I don't have all of them here with me today. So I can't show you every single one of them. But you'll get the idea. Just go to the online store and you'll find them. Now this one here is um, a great one for the nature lover or for the men. It's called For the Guys Card Kit. And again, you've got everything in here that you need. Stamp, uh, stamp, uh, sorry, ink spot, adhesive, stamp set. And there's this stamp set, actually, there's a whole heap of different greetings in there. You've got happy to you, Father's Day, birthday, anniversary, thank you, dad. There's another dad, brother, uncle, grandpa, friend, nephew, son, for all you do, I love you, and grandson. So you've got some awesome sentiments there that you can use on other things. And you've got some sun rays there as well. Or I guess you could use that for grass too. Uh, so I've got some of the cards in here. Now these ones are full-size cards. So you can see um, I changed up some of the sentiments. You can use some of the different sentiments that are in the set there. I made a um, birthday card, which is beautiful. And just you add all of these layers. All the layers are already pre-cut for you. Um, so yeah, again, another great gift. I'm just trying to think if I've made any of the others. I think I might have given some of the others away. But everything that you need is in here. These are the, the, um, the trees. You just punch them out. See, they, they just pull out of the their pre-die cut for you, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, another great gift. To give to somebody um, and even if they're not a crafter or they've, they've never made cards before then um, these are gr a great gift because all of the instructions are in there and just let them enjoy the experience and even if you think oh no they're not crafty they don't do craft um, they might enjoy it so we we should never assume that somebody may or may not like something because we really don't know and unless they've had a go at it they might not know either. So that's just another um, great idea. So as I said, the stamping kits are $33. The non-stamping kits are $21. So I don't have the kit because I've finished it and um, sent it off, but this is one of the non-stamping kits. So all of the pieces that come in this kit are all pre-printed and you just basically put them together and they go together really, really quickly. That's the Notes of Cheer card kit. And I love the colours and the butterflies in this one. So again, that one comes with all of the bits and pieces that you need, including the adhesive. This one doesn't have an ink spot or an ink block or a stamp set, um, but this one is cheaper. This one's only $21. Uh, we've also got the No Matter the Weather card kit. This one is a stamping kit so this one is $33 and you get these three gorgeous um, designs in here 
uh, and three of each of them. So you get a total of nine cards in the kit. Um, all the instructions and that's the collection of products that are in the kit to create those projects. And again, you've got the stamp sets, the ink and the block left over to use for other projects. So make these make a great Christmas gift. So if you're stumped with what to buy for somebody, try one of the kits. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you another type of kit. This is a paper pumpkin kit. So the paper pumpkin kits are just a little bit different. The paper pumpkin kits do come with everything that you need apart from a block. Um, they don't come with a block, but if you've got one of the blocks from the other kit, um, then you can use those or you can purchase a block. If you're giving this as a gift, you might want to purchase one of the D size blocks um, from the online store to give with the kit okay if the person that you're giving it to is not a crafter or if they're a new crafter and you're not sure if they have a block um, just purchase a, a d size block for them that usually fits most of the stamp sets um, that come in the kit or so it does fit all of them usually so this is the very beautiful expressions in color kit now you might have seen this one before i don't think i've shown this one on a live before i have created with it with my team um, and perhaps with some customers in a zoom uh, meeting but i don't think i've shown this one on a live now these paper pumpkin kits are 37 dollars, so they're um, a little bit more than the other kits than our kit collections and um, these ones are a subscription in the u.s um um northern i think in north america you can get these by subscription but this is a global one that stampin up released to um all of the markets everywhere around the world which is awesome so it's this, this is a very special one lots and lots of beautiful things in this project uh, in these projects and we get two ink spots with this one so i thought we would make a quick card with one of these ones um, so let me just show you the products that are in here. So we've got our labels and we've got some little labels as well for our sentiments. We've got some gorgeous vellum in here. <gasps> I love this vellum. It's so beautiful. So, so pretty. Look at this one. So again, this would make a lovely gift or you can purchase it yourself um, and create the projects. Um, bundle them up, wrap them with a bit of ribbon or something, and then give them to somebody as a gift already made as well. Um, you've got the sentiments in the three different languages. So we've got French, German, and English. And these are printed onto vellum. And we've got these gorgeous flowers as well. Then we've got some of these um, decorative elements here. We've got all of our um, card bases, and we've got extra panel pieces or layers. Our beautiful stamp set. Look at those stamps. You do get a few more stamps in this one. We've got two ink spots in this one. We've got Bumblebee and Evening Evergreen. We've got our twine. These are the cards that it makes. How gorgeous are these three cards? So these are the three designs that it makes. Okay. So we'll keep those out because we're going to make one of those today. You get your envelopes. In all of the kits, you get the matching envelopes. So we've got two different sizes um, of cards in this kit. We've got our adhesive. We've got our twine. So let's get those out of the kit. We've got our embellishments as well. Beautiful iridescent sequins there. They're really pretty. Pop those out as well. I keep these pieces too. Just as a little um, hint, if you have these kits, you can keep these pieces and use these like a mask or a stencil and actually um, use, say, a blending brush with a bit of ink on it and go over those to make backgrounds on your projects. Or you can use daubers or sponges to um, add ink through those templates um to create beautiful backgrounds so there's just a little tip so don't throw away all your bits and pieces um, then you've got a little information sheet in here as well so there you go so yeah this is another beautiful kit that you could either purchase for yourself to make up the cards to give as a gift to somebody or you can um i'll just move the box out of the way or you can give the entire kit to somebody 
um, as a gift, which would make a beautiful gift. All right, so let's see how much time have we got? Oh, we've gone. Um, I've gone really long today with all my chatting. So let's see. Um, I love this one. This is my favourite one. So how about we quickly make one of these ones? Um, the other two we probably won't have time for this morning. So I'll pop those ones to the side. But let's see if I've got all of the bits and pieces to make this card. So I'll pull all the pieces out that we need. So we need that. We need that. Not these ones. So they can go back in the box. We need our vellum sheet. Not those ones. And we need our stamp set. And we're going to need one of those long um, sentiments there. We're going to stamp on that while it's still in the background sheet because I find that that's a lot easier. So there we go. So there's all the pieces that we need and our twine, of course. Um, what colour ink do we use on this one? We use the Bumblebee ink. And then we'll need our sequins and our stamp set, our adhesive, of course. There we go. And I'm bringing in my own block because remember the paper pumpkin kits do not come with a block. The other kits from the kits collection do come with blocks. So hopefully I haven't confused you there. Now I like to keep my bumble my um my bumblebee. I like to keep my ink spots to um as gifts for people. So I'm gonna swap this out with my own bumblebee ink pad because I've got the um, large size classic stampin' pad. So I'm gonna use that one today. All right, so let's get crafting. And also too, same with the adhesives. I like to use my own adhesive. So I'm gonna pop these ones to the side just so that I can save these to pop in little gift packets for people. So I'm gonna bring in my own. I've actually got my glue dots too, which can substitute for the adhesive dots that are in this one. So I can use those and we're going to need some dimensionals as well. So let's grab out some of those. I might get some minis out too because I think I don't have any more large ones opened. All right, so we've got everything out and ready. I'll pop my card. So this is the card we're going to make. I'll pop that one over to the side so that I can, um, I can, uh, use that as a guide as well but I do have the instructions too um, I'm just going to I just realized that I didn't have the video on my computer up in case my iPad crashes all right so I'm just reading back on some comments um, I've missed quite a few because I've been showing all of those beautiful kits uh, let me see do, 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 do. Where am I up to? Um... Oh, Megan said she's been thinking about the kits as a gift for her mother. Perfect. That is a great idea, Megan. I encourage you to do that. They, are, they make a fantastic gift. All right, so I'm just going to take uh, off the sentiment that says sending hugs. Um, now, because these are a photopolymer stamp set and they're quite bendy especially with the sentiments you want them to be straight so what i always do is i pop them down it's a good idea to actually pop them down on a piece of paper or cardstock because they don't tend to stick sometimes your desktop will be a bit stickier so let them just relax into their natural shape and then take your block to them and pick that up on your block okay so now you when you turn that over you should have the stamping surface um, facing up if you're holding your block up that way Okay, so when you go to stamp it, it's going to stamp your image. All right, so that's the only one we need from the stamp set for this one. So we'll put the rest of the stamp set over to the side. Nice and easy. Okie dokie. Now, we do have in the um, instruction sheet, we do have all of the instructions here. So for each of the projects, it shows you which pieces you need to pull out and use for each of the projects. So we're doing this one here. Okay, so we've got all of those pieces out. I didn't get out the envelope, actually. Let's do that. We might even like to do a little bit of stamping on the envelope. So maybe I will bring those inks, 
uh, the stamps back out because we might do a little bit of stamping on the envelope too. Remind me to do that if I don't remember. Um, and this is the one we're going to do here. So let's fold our instruction sheet. Okay. So this gives you the step-by-step -step instructions in picture form. It even shows you where to apply your adhesive. So the little dots are the little um, adhesive dots. These little ones here that are on the sheet. And the little hexagonal shapes are the stamp and dimensionals. Okay, that's the 3D foam. That's the ones that are in the back there. Okay. All right, and it tells us too that we're going to need 12 inches of twine. So we might start with cutting our twine. I'll pop all of these pieces over to the side here. And we'll bring them in one at a time. Um, we'll cut our twine first and get that ready. So let's use our measure here. Now we've got centimetres and we've got inches on our little ruler along here, along the bottom of the um, instruction sheet. Okay, so we can use that. Um, so it said, what did it say? 12 inches. Oh, it's here. 12 inches or 30.5 centimetres. So let's measure... I'll use my centimetres, so I've got, I'll go to 20, and then another 10, and a half. There we go, so I need to cut that there. Um, so 30.5 centimetres of twine, and cut that there. There we go. And we're just going to be tying a really big bow with this, so I'm going to just do that now just a simple bow but we're going to make it a really big one i just want to make sure that i've got some ends hanging there as well and like nice big loops we kind of want those loops to be centered or as much as possible because we're going to have them coming out from behind the um the label the sentiment label there we go so we've got our big bow tied ready all right so pop that back away. Oops, folded that the wrong way. There we go. Okay. So next let's do some stamping. Just bring in my little piece of small grid paper. Now if you don't have grid paper, you can use scrap paper or something like that. I always like to have um, paper underneath me when I'm stamping in case um, I go off the page. Or also too, I do like to do... A, I like to clean my stamps a little bit on the paper first too before I use the um, Stampin' Chamois. All right, so we're just going to use the Sending Hug Sentiment. I'm just going to ink that up. So we're just going tap, tap, tap onto the ink pad, not pushing hard. Now, if you have one of the little ink spots, of course, the, the sentiment is bigger or longer than the ink spot. So you're going to cut the label here to remove the lid. Okay, then the, you'll take the lid off, turn the ink spot upside down, and just go tap, tap, tap across a few times across your sentiment to get the ink onto it. Okay, so if I was going to do that with the big one, I would just go tap, tap, tap across the top. Okay, and then we're going to line that up on our sentiment and that's just going to be stamped in the middle. So I'll try to get that lined up as best as I can with camera overhead. Stamp that down. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, and then I like to stamp off the excess ink onto my scrap paper first then I take it to my chamois if you don't have a simply chamois you can get these in my online store and in the tool section or um, it's in the annual catalog in the tool section as well and it comes like this in a plastic bag and then you just run it under the tap it's already a little bit moist and soft so you just run it under some water to, and then wring it out like you would a car chamois. It's just that it's um it's actually a lot thicker than a car chamois. Um, and then you can just keep it in a um, Ziploc bag or I use the clear stamp cases that are available from Stampin' Up. Um, these come in a pack of four and they're great for storage for different things. And that's what I keep mine in. And I just, and then you just rinse it out every, um, depending on how often you're using it. I rinse mine out usually once a week, once every two weeks depending on how inky it's getting. All right, so we've got our sentiment label. So let's pop that out. There we go. I love how quick and easy the Simply Chamois is to use. 
um, and it gets your stamps beautiful and clean. Look at that. That's all nice and clean now. All the inks come off that one. Okay, so now let's bring in our card base, our beautiful Bumblebee card base. These are already pre-scored for you. So all you need to do is fold them. Um, if you have a bone folder, you might like to burnish that what we call burnish it's basically just rubbing it along the seam um, along that folded edge to give a nice crisp edge um, if you don't have a bone folder you can use the edge of your block um, these ergonomic blocks are great because they're they've got rounded edges so you can just run that along the edge anything that you're using just be careful that it doesn't have any sharp edges if you're using a different block or maybe the block from the um, one of the other kits they're a little bit more harsh on the edges. Just be careful that you don't scratch up your um, cardstock when you're doing that. Um, oh, Tina Marie said she really appreciates that Stampin' Up! puts extra labels in the kits because I'm not good at stamping. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So they do give us extra pieces in the kits as well, um, especially with the labels for stamping because um, sometimes it's hard to line it up on those little tiny labels. Like... In this kit, there are a few really little tiny labels. These ones here, these are teeny tiny and it's hard to line them up. So they do give us, and I get it wrong too. Um, so they do give us extra labels to be able to um, have extra stamping. But you know what? If you mark all of them up and they're still no good, just cut a simple rectangle of white cardstock and that's fine. <laughs> so... Um, I'm sure many people have done that in the past. All right, so I'm going to use some of my glue dots. My These are my um, mini glue dots. But as I said, you do get adhesive dots in the kit. And I'm going to pop some adhesive dots just in the corner. I'm trying to put them behind where the white detail is on this um, vellum. Because the vellum is opaque. So that means that you will actually see it through. You'll see those glue dots or any adhesive you put on the back, you will see through the um, vellum. But if you pop them behind where there's other detail, then that'll kind of hide it a little bit. And also too, I know that we're going to be having a lot of detail in the middle of this card. So I'm going to pop some extra glue dots in the middle so that... Um, it's going to be one covered up by the other elements that I'm putting on there and two, just popping, I'll pop another one here and two, it's going to help to hold that on. Okay, so I've got my glue dots there on the corners, sort of behind where those white pieces are and a couple here in the middle. And then we are simply just going to adhere this vellum to the front of the card. So just centering that up as best we can. There we go. Great. And that's adhered. Now we're going to take our little um, leafy pieces. I love these. These look like they've been painted with alcohol ink. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous. In fact, I want to play with that um, alcohol technique that everybody has been playing with. I finally have now got the right type of alcohol to use for it. Um, that I got my husband to get from the hardware store, which is here in Australia. Our local hardware store is Bunnings, and um, or here in Sydney anyway. And um, I got him to go and get some. You need to have, um, I think, above 91% alcohol for the technique. These, <coughs> ones, these ones are already done for us, so we don't need to do these ones at all. Sorry about the puppy. Kelly, shh, it's okay. It's okay. Sorry, she heard a noise. And she um, woke up. It's okay, puppy. It's okay. So, yeah. Um, but I do want to play with that technique. So I'll probably be playing with that sometime soon now that I've got what I need to be able to do it. So you just need vellum and um, stampin' blends, which are our alcohol markers, and that um, alcohol. I think my husband actually got me 100% alcohol. You get it from the paint section in the hardware store. So the, um, the ordinary rubbing alcohol that you get in the um, chemist and the pharmacies, that's not um, uh, strong enough to actually do the technique properly. So, because I always have that here, I use that for other techniques, but for that particular technique, it doesn't work. There we go. 
So we've got all of our little pieces pulled out. I'm going to keep this again to use that as a template for um, inking through. So use that as a little stencil. All right, and here's our beautiful pieces. So all we're going to do is we are going to add adhesive to the back of these and just layer them on. Now, again, in your kit, you'll have the um, adhesive dots. You can use those. Or if you have the mini glue dots, you can use those. I'm going to cheat today, and I'm actually going to use my liquid glue because that's going to be a lot quicker for me today. Oh, there's one little piece in here I didn't pull out. I'll just make sure I get that little centerpiece out. Um, Megan said, same as Tina, always love them and that, um, and like Mandy, I use the leftovers for journal tags, for scrapbooking and other projects. Oh, that's a great idea, Megan. Yeah, so all those little extra pieces you get in your kit, leftover in your kit, you can use them for other projects. That's right. Yeah, and embellishing for scrapbooks too. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Oh, is this one your favorite? Oh, your favorite kit was the um the for the guys one, I think, isn't it, Tina Marie, with the beautiful mountains and the trees. Yeah. Um oh, Megan said she's got seven shelves in her craft room full of kits. Wow, that's amazing. Um Tina Marie said, sorry, I'm just catching up with some of the um comments. Um, Tina Marie said also kits are great starters for uncrafty people um, yes Tina Marie started on kits too she only started making um, cards last year really and um, she started with kits as well yeah although she you'd been to a couple of my classes too hadn't you Tina Marie um, yeah so yeah this kit is a pretty one yeah um, oh, Lucia's here too. Hey, Lucia, how are you going? Uh, Lucia said, uh, Lu Lucia's saying hi to you, Megan. <laughs> and she's thanking you for her lovely message yesterday. Oh, nice. How great are all these kits for gifts? Yes, exactly right. That's what we've been talking about today, Lucia, is um, Christmas gifts and using some of these kits for Christmas gifts. So um, they definitely make great gifts. All right, so as I said, I'm um, changing it up and using a little bit of liquid glue. But as I said before, just you, you can just use the adhesive that is in the kit. Um, if you're making these up to give as gifts, if you're making up the cards to give as gifts, or the person that you're giving it to can just use the adhesive in the kit. So just adding a few bits here and there to hold all those little bits down and I can just see I've got a blob of glue on my desk as well so I'm going to have to um, pick that up in a moment otherwise it's going to end up sticky everywhere oops put that up a bit higher so we want to put that up around about in the middle there so glue that all down let me just grab that glue off my desk um, get a baby wipe out to do that always have my baby wipes close at hand there we go my glue oozed a little bit there where I wasn't when I wasn't watching it I think I was busy talking <laughs> all right so we're going to pop the um, pink piece down next and really with these pieces you can pop them down in any order as I said there's instructions uh, on the instruction sheet in the kit whoops there's another piece I missed removing um, but yeah they, the person who is making the kit can just follow the instructions. Um, if you're making it yourself, you can just pop these pieces down in whichever order you like. You're just basically layering them over the top of each other. There we go. And last of all, we'll put the purple one down. So this one's got this one's actually got um, gorgeous grape and Highland Heather in it. It's really pretty. I'm loving all these colors. So it, they're really beautiful. Um, oh, Megan says she never gets around to doing them all that often. Oh, I need to pull out your kits, Megan. Hey, you should pull one out now and kit along with me. While I'm kitting, you could be kitting too. All right, so then we're just going to pop this one down. Let's turn that one at a bit more of an angle, fill up some of that um, blank space there. Hang on a sec. 
which way do we want to go I oh, probably should have put that one at a bit more of an angle that's all right it doesn't really matter you can pop them down however there we go all right there we go so that's the um the basis of our card and then we're just going to pop our sentiment down now we want to put that big bow down as well all oh, my fingers are sticky now hang on a sec let me get some glue off my fingers um <laughs> tina marie said mandy's amazing how she is able to recognize the name of the colors just by looking at them most of the time sometimes i get a blank um, and I cheat because I've got all of my colored ink pads in front of me so I can actually if I forget a color or I'm unsure I can actually just look at um, my ink pads and go oh yeah that's whatever whatever color <laughs> so <laughs> not always as good as you think I am Tina sometimes I have to cheat <laughs> all right so I'm going to pop a um, glue dot on the back of um but I, I usually can tell most of the colors. I'm going to pop a glue dot on the back of our sentiment and we're going to put our um, ribbon like, or well not ribbon, our twine, our twine bow like so. Okay, so that's going to be coming out from behind the um, sentiment like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pop this up on dimensionals. So we'll just get that to stick down to there. There we go and we'll bring in our dimensionals and we'll just pop down some dimensionals oops like so and i'm just going to go either side of that twine just so that we don't interfere with that um that bow there all right and then we just remove the backings from those dimensionals oopsie there we go so remember that, um, as I was saying, in case anyone's jumping on later, these kits make beautiful gifts for people. Um, if you're perhaps giving it to an older person or something like that, and you're not sure if they're going to be um, able to do the kit, you might like to make the cards up and make them into a card pack, tie them up with some beautiful ribbon, and then um, give those handmade cards to somebody as a gift that they can then um, hand on to somebody else and use to give because I know a lot of older people too they like to um, give cards and so it's a great gift there we go and then all we need to do is just add our bling so these are already adhesive backed so you can just peel them off and add them oops make sure you take the adhesive off with them there we go and then you can just add them wherever you like So we'll go crazy with these. Let's put some over some of our um, over some of our um, where we put our adhesive dots, so that people can't see them there. So it's a great way to hide them is with embellishments. There we go. So what have we got? One, two, three, four. Let's go five because it's always good to have an uneven number of embellishments. And there we go. So there's our beautiful card. Isn't that gorgeous? I love those colours. And sending hugs. Do you know what? I didn't even stick that on straight. I just realised that is not on there straight. And that's going to bug me. So let's see if I can release those in those um, dimensionals very carefully. And see if I can straighten that up a little bit. Oh. Okay, let me try that again. Just needed to go up just a tiny bit on that left uh, right side there we go that's better okay can't have it uneven that'll drive me nuts <laughs> there we go so let's do a little bit of stamping on our envelope so these ones in this kit are um, plain white envelopes these are really sturdy envelope actually so I'll bring in my grid paper and pop that over to the side um, thank you for reminding me to stamp the envelope Tina Marie, I just saw your message there. Thankfully, I looked up to the um, messages. So I think I like to use this little floral image here on the envelope. That will be really pretty. So you can just take that off. I might use the same ink as well. So yeah, we'll use that one. I'll use the same block. So I'll just put that on the other side of the block. 
I love too that all of our stamps are repositionable so you can take them on and off your blocks off and on your blocks and um, they're really great and they store really well too so I'll use that same ink the um, beautiful bumblebee ink now I haven't used this stamp before so I'm just going to test it on scrap paper first yep good that stamps okay Turn that, uh, oh, actually I'll turn that over. I just don't want to get that ink on my the back of my envelope. All right, so we'll just stamp this image down. Actually, let's go up this way. Down in the corner of our envelope there. Beautiful. And then if we turn it up the other way, we can also stamp this on the back. Clean my stamp. We can also stamp it on the back of the envelope here as well, on the flap. So then we've got some beautiful stamping on the front and the back. Okay, so we've got pretty little embellishing there. And we've got the same on the back as well. If you wanted to, you could go the other corner as well and have it top and bottom corner. I usually just like to stamp in one corner um, and on the back. So there you go. So there you've got your beautiful little set ready to go. So wouldn't they make a beautiful gift for somebody? So think about our kits for Christmas gifts. Um, and it's a great time to start doing your Christmas shopping now um, and allowing plenty of delivery time as well in order for you to get them, then have time to wrap them and have them ready for Christmas. And also keep in mind if you are posting out or mailing out gifts to people as well, you need to allow time for that too. So there we go. So we'll clean that on our chamois. And there we go. Done and dusted. So there you go. So that is the beautiful... Um, that's the, the beautiful Expressions in Colour kit. Paper pumpkin kit. There's the three cards from that kit, which are absolutely gorgeous. And remember to do your envelopes as well. And there you go. And you've got a beautiful gift for somebody. And even to, if you want to, um, you might want to give several people card kits. So you could perhaps have um, each one of these cards with their coordinating envelopes. Pop them into one of our little acetate boxes. Oh, I popped them away actually. If you have the Stampin' Up! acetate boxes, you can pop them in an acetate box, um, put a belly band around the box and give them as a gift or even just wrap the box in ribbon and um, you can put multiple cards in there. I think the boxes hold up to about five cards and envelopes um, or you can just do little sets of three or purchase the whole kit and give the whole kit as a gift. So remember, we've got all these beautiful kits that I showed today and we've got many more as well because, as I said, I don't have all of them. So we've got all these, these ones that I showed you today as well as the paper pumpkin kits as well. So there's lots and lots to choose from. Great prices for Christmas gifts. So um, hopefully that has helped you with your Christmas shopping. And again, just before I go, I'll flip the camera back up so that I can say goodbye to you face to face. And then that way to um, that way to um, I can just tell you about one quick little thing before I go. All right, so let me do that now. I'll just cover up the camera and flip that up. All righty, here we go. So bear with me a moment while I just get this ready for you. Get that all tightened up. I better flip those cameras too, hey? Otherwise we'll be on the roof, upside down, back to front. And I think we are a little bit wonky. So I'm so thankful that Callie has been a good girl. She barked a couple of times, but um, she's actually been really good she's i don't even know where she is right now where is she oh she's over in her other bed she's got two beds in here she's so spoiled 
she's got two beds and she's over in her bed in the corner we um took her we usually usually have a little play pen in here for her and we can actually zip her in so if she's getting too out of control and overtired we can actually pop her in the play pen and um get her to have a sleep but we took the play pen out in preparation for her surgery which didn't go ahead so now we're training her in the craft room to settle without being in the play pen so lots of different things she's a very funny little girl she's um very um fussy and very anxious and um yeah she's just <laughs> everything takes time with this dog she's uh she's very funny but she's so lovable she's so cute and adorable loves cuddles so anyway so there's our beautiful card that we made today so i hope you like that i hope you enjoyed that kit so pretty look at those colors are they gorgeous and that vellum is just so beautiful actually if you wanted to if you were making this kit too you could actually um, cut that vellum smaller and use the additional pieces on extra cards and maximize you could even use these extra pieces oh there's so many different things you can do with the kit so you can make them exactly as the instructions um, are or you can change it up however you like and um, maximize the products in the kits too and remember, you've got all those extra things in the kits to use for later as well for other projects. Um, yes, she has done very well, Tina Marie. Yes, she's been extremely good. Normally, I don't have her in the room when I go live because I can't predict what she's going to be like. Because um, if anybody comes to the door, she goes crazy. If we get any deliveries, she goes off her head. So I never can quite tell, um, yeah, what's going to happen with this dog. <laughs> <laughs> she's very temperamental um yeah uh oh megan said she can't do uneven numbers it bugs her oh well actually in the crafting world usually they say that it's more aesthetically pleasing to the eye to have uneven numbers to have odd numbers rather than even um so yes apparently in the in the arty crafty world that's what they do so i'll just go with that <laughs> so yeah all right so remember that next week oh and i've dumped everything on top of it now next week on the first of um in case i can't come live next week if Callie's surgery does go ahead next monday um, i'll just let you know the last chance product promotion starts on the first of december so those mini catalog products um will only be available um while they're on well it's the last chance to get them really um, some of the products will be up to 50% off so there will be some that are reduced so check that out next week remember that our joining special is available till the end of this month so you still have time it's only $130 for your starter kit and you choose $235 worth of product to put in that starter kit still only pay $130 and get free shipping on that and then you'll get 20% discount on all of your future purchases, including you also get to use your demonstrator discount on any other promotion. So I should just let you know that. Um, so anything that's on special, you get the special price plus you get your demonstrator discount. So it's an added saving. So yes, you still get everything that customers get, plus you get additional benefits of being a demonstrator including that wonderful discount um, and so much more than it's not just all about the discount it's about the community um, and about the uh, the crafting of course and it's um, mostly about the people so if you would love to join a lovely team of beautiful people and you're here in Australia I would love to have you join my team so please feel free to get in contact with me ask me any questions and as i said if you are happy to just go ahead and join if you've already made that decision you can go to my blog mandyspapercraftcreations.blogspot.com and you can click on the join button right there on my blog and that'll take you through to the joining page right there to join with me all right well thank you all so much for being with me today um, it was great to have you with me. I will let you go. Um, oh, the same in photography, Megan, the rule of thirds. Yes, my sister taught me about that because my sister is a professional photographer and videographer. And she taught me about that. And last time I saw her um, 
or last time I went to visit her up in Queensland, she was actually giving me a little lesson on taking photos. So, um, yeah, which was really good because she'd never actually taught me properly before. I guess I'd never asked her. So I asked her and she showed me. So it was really cool. Yeah. So, all right. So have a great rest of the week. Well, we're already Thursday. So we've only got another couple of days left of this week, but we've got the weekend coming up. Have a lovely weekend. And I look forward to seeing you next time. As I said, if puppy's um, surgery goes ahead on Monday, I may not be doing any lives next week. We'll have to take it as it comes. We'll see how we go. But um, anyway, I'll be posting. So you'll see um, me in my business page and on social media, on Instagram. If you're not already following me on Instagram and my YouTube channel and Pinterest, um, I'm on all of those platforms as well. So be sure to look me up. Just look up. Just look for my name, Mandy Witherby. And um, you can find me on all of those platforms and follow me. And I'm always putting things out there. So that would be awesome. All right. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for being here with me today. And um, stay safe and enjoy some crafting. And I look forward to seeing you. Oh, thank you, Megan. Hope Callie's surgery goes well. Yes. Thank you so much for that. Um, I look forward to seeing you next time. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye.